In today's video, I'm gonna build a QR code generator with ChatGPT, giving it just four statements, and then I'm gonna sell it. All right, so I've got ChatGPT open, and let me show you the four statements. The first statement I wrote out was, write PHP code for a QR code generator. And here it is, it popped it right out. The first thing it tells me to do is load the library. Then it says to have the data to be encoded. This is usually a link or a statement or something like that. 99% of the time it's gonna be a link. Then it has the error correction level. Right here they give an explanation of what the error correction level is. The error correction level can be one of four values, L, M, Q, or H. The higher the correction level, the more robust the QR code will be against errors, but it will also be larger in size. So it's basically whether it's more detailed or not. And it gives us the variable to be able to change it right there. And then the pixel size, so the pixel size of the image, and then the margin size of the image. And I believe this is from the center of the PNG that is created, because when I made it, it's actually bigger than uh, just 10 pixels. But you'll see exactly when I actually run it. After that, I wrote a write code for a form to use on this website. So obviously I can't use it like this. I need it to be a form. I need a, a form to actually interact with this. So I asked it to give me that and it did. It popped it right out actually really beautifully with all the different optional levels needing to, not needing, but actually having the ability to manipulate them, which is really, really cool. And it even gave me an explanation of how to add it to the page and so forth like that. Next, after that, I was like, well, I've got this image that's created, but I need a button. And that button would be to download the image because even though a person could technically right click and download the image, I wanted to make it more convenient than that with just having a button. So I added a button. So this is the code and now with the button. And that button, if you look, as I scroll down, is right here. Here's the download QR code button. Mind you, I am not doing any coding of my own here. I'm just making it happen. Now, as I was working with this, I realized there was something that was kind of not working correctly. I need to add a reset button. And that's because if you look in here, we have, it was just popping out a uh, the PNG, but as the PNG was popping out, and I'll try to show it to you right here, this QR code PNG, it was always the same file and it saves it in the back end of my folder. So it was always giving me the same example. I needed to have something that would give it a different file name. And I was trying different things. I, I tried to have a clear the cache button. I thought that would work. I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> so I tried that, I got rid of that eventually. But then the last statement I stumbled upon as I was thinking was, what is something that changes constantly so there's always a different download file name? So what I came across is time. Time, I did date and time as a part of the file name. And by doing the date and time, I gave the image a different name every single time. So if you look in here, what it did, I'll just scroll down over here to it, is it found the variable to make the time, year, month, day, hours, seconds, and so forth. And then it adds it to the file name right here. And then I, can, I still have my download button right there. And those were the magic four statements that I needed to make this whole thing work. So I'm gonna go through that again. The first one was write PHP code for a QR code generator. So it wrote the code for the generator, then the form, to interact with it, write code for a form to use this on my website. Then I added a download button for the image to be generated. And then finally, as I go through this, make it so the image generated includes the date and time as part of the file name. And it works beautifully. Now I'm gonna show you how I add it to the website. So all I gotta do is go into my example website i'm going to be in the file manager i'm going to open up the folder there's as you can see it's an empty folder i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call this qr code dot php and hit confirm and that's going to give me my empty file okay and now i'm going to open go back to this tab here and i'm going to grab and i'm going to grab the form with all the code on it my final form so i'll come down here and i'm just going to copy this code and then I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna hit edit 
and I'm gonna paste that code inside. Now after I've done that, I remember from my first lines in here that I need to have the library and it's giving me the link to the library. So if I scroll all the way back up, right here in the original code, it gives me the link. Now mind you, I didn't ask for this. It knew to give it to me, which is really amazing. So I just right click on it and I'm gonna open it up in a new tab. I go to the new tab and I click download. Now, of course, I've already downloaded this because I've already experimented with it. So I'm just gonna pull that in. So, but if you click download here, it's gonna download the library. I go back to my site tools. I go into my public HTML file. I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm just gonna upload this file. All right, I've uploaded the file and now I'm gonna unpack it. Also known as extracting it or unzipping it. And I'm gonna delete the original zip file. Now the folder is not written correctly here. If I look at the code again, you'll see that the code says PHP QR code slash QR lib dot PHP. So I gotta make it so that that's based off the root of my directory. So I'm gonna go back into this guy right here. Actually, I'll just close this out. I'll go back into the folder. And this is the main folder. And as you can see, all those files are in there. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go backwards one tick. All right, and then I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna click move and I'm gonna browse. I'm gonna make sure this is just at my root folder, which is public HTML. So I click on that and I hit select and it's gonna move that file. All right. Now, if I go back into public HTML, you see that that folder is right here. I can delete this basically empty folder and hit delete. Now we're gonna take a look and see if it works. So I'm gonna open up another tab. I'm gonna go to my site. And there is my form. So I'm gonna add a domain name. I've already done some experimenting as you can see. I'm gonna do YouTube. And I'm gonna hit my error correction level. I'm gonna make it H for the fun of it. And then I'm gonna do pixel size. And this one, I'm going to do just 10. And then I'm gonna generate the QR code. And bang, it pops it out. Now you can take your phone out, you can pause this video, you can take your phone out and see if this actually works. Now if you pause the video and you checked it, you would see that that link actually works if you brought your phone up to it and had your QR code read it. And then I'm gonna hit download the QR code. And as you can see, I got the file name and it has the date right inside of it. Now, I'm gonna use a different one and I'm gonna change this around again just to make sure it works. So let's do a different URL. I'm gonna use google.com this time. I'm gonna change the correction level. Actually, let's leave it at L. I'm gonna make this one a smaller one, so I'll leave it at 10, but I'm gonna get rid of the margin size. And I'm gonna hit generate QR code. And as you can see, it popped it out. And if again, you wanna pause the video, you can see that this definitely works. And then I can download the QR code. And there you have it. I have created using only four lines of statements, given the chat GPT, a fully functional QR code generator. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. I wanna go sell it to a client who I know actually needs it. Hey, wait, remember when we were talking earlier and you mentioned to me that you were getting sick and tired of going to those QR code generator websites with all their advertisements and eventually having to make you pay for the QR codes? Well, I built a QR code generator and if you're interested in it, maybe you could use it in your business. Do you want to take a look? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm tired of making a QR codes for everyone in my office. Okay, let me share it with you. So I'm going to share my screen right now. And as you can see, I already put in your domain right here. All I gotta do is click this one button here that generated the QR code and it spits it right out. So if okay. we go to your website and I'm just gonna go there right now and I do uh, an introductory flight, I can just copy this link, go to the QR code generator, hit generate QR code and if you use your phone on that right now, you can download it and put it in any of your media. Oh, excellent. That's going to be a huge time saver. So I'm charging 300 bucks for it. Does that sound good? 
that's easy gonna save me three hundred dollars of my time. Definitely. Awesome. I will uh, set it up for you on your website, and we're good to go. That works. Awesome. Great. I'll put it on your website later on today. Great. Looking forward to it. Have a good one. And there you have it. We built the QR code generator using chat GPT and four statements, and then we sold it to our client. Now our client can use that as they like. It's their QR code generator. They no longer have to go to other websites and possibly give their information or anything like that. They have their own fully functional generator. I can then use this as an asset and I can just keep selling it. It took me five, 10 minutes to build this and I made 300 bucks off of it. Plus on top of that, I can resell it as many times as I want. That's amazing. And that's the true power of ChatGPT. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.